Okay, so what we're going to do is make a Cat 5E patch cable using RJ45 connectors, 8 pin, which have 4 pair wire, unshielded twisted pair. And this is just a standard RJ45 for any Ethernet connection. Uh, we'll make a straight through cable, which should be good to go from any switch router modem to PC or Xbox or PS3, whatever you'd need an Ethernet cable for. And we'll start by taking the jacket off, about an inch and a half back from the end of the cable. All you really have to do is score the outer jacket and kind of just twist it and peel it off. That way you don't risk splicing one of the cables inside and getting a short. Um, but you can see inside the cable there is four pairs. So you have orange, green, blue, and brown in this particular cable. What you want to do is first separate your pairs. We're going to do a T568B, which starts with the orange and white orange pairs basically straighten it out and what I like to do is once I have them straightened out and separated like this so they're kind of straight I like to take basically the width of my finger at the first joint and just wrap it over and that kind of holds it there for me nice and straight like that after orange and white you want to take the white green T568B is white orange orange white green blue white blue green white brown and then brown so we want to straighten out the white green place that next to the orange next we'll take the blue pair Okay, and solid blue is after white green. And we'll just hook that over. Just watch the base too, because at the end of the uh, sheathing that you cut off to make sure nothing's really too twisted up. It'll give you problems later when you slide the connector on. I'll try to do this nice and slow so you can see what I'm doing. Might have had too much coffee. Okay, so. Next is white blue. So, like I said, it's white orange orange, white green blue, white blue, solid green. The reason I try to stay near the first joint of my finger is because when we lop these off, that's about enough for the connector and to slide the sheath into the RJ45 connector with no wires hanging out. Okay, next we want white brown. Like so, so everything stays nice and straight. That's important. See it might have a little nick there in that brown wire. But this is just a demonstration anyway so you get the idea. Just make sure you don't have any exposed copper. That's important. So you can see nice and straight. Try to get you a decent shot there. Wiring scheme. And that's, like I said, T568B. There's A, which reverses the green pair with the orange pair. But everything else is in order. So it would basically for A would be white, green, green, white, orange, blue, white, blue, orange, white, brown, and brown. Okay, so, now that we have everything straight, what I like to do is put my other th my thumb here, fold these up so they're straight. You want the straightest cut you can possibly get because when it hits the top of the connector, you want it all to line up and butt to the end of the connector nice and smooth. You don't want anything like this overlapping either. So, the tightest you can get it, and holding your thumb there, and then 
you can really cut it with anything because it's such a thin gauge wire. Um, on the uh, crimp tools, they get a wire cutter. And you can even cut it with scissors. Anything like that. I'll try to do it like with these wire cutters here so you can see what I'm doing. Try to make as straight as possible a cut. Get it nice and level. It's kind of tough to do point of view, but I think it'll work out in the long run. So now what you want to do is white orange is pin one. So I like to do this the where the cable goes in, point it towards your belly. You have this pin here that keeps it locked into the port when you plug it in. That goes on the bottom which means this is pin 1 so everything looking at it like that just slides right on with that tab on the bottom so you just basically want to keep kind of pressure with this thumb this thumb here on the wires and push it down so it slides on the bottom of the connector on the inside it'll try to keep everything nice and straight like that as it slides in and then basically just push it in and that should, like I said, that width there, it's about an inch right there will give you enough sheathing to get the wires up to the top of the connector. I don't know if you'll be able to see that each pin has a wire. Um, you want to check the sides too. Make sure you have brown, make sure you have white, orange. You can even look at it from the top. Do the best you can to look in there and make sure no wires came on top of each other because they will fit two into a pin and you'll end up with an open wire or a short and the wire won't work. So let me just pause that. I'll take a look before I crimp it. Okay, it looks good. So now what you want to do is just take your crimping tool, which is really and technically the only tool you need to make a cable um, like I said you can really cut this stuff with scissors or anything like that because it's so thin but you want to hold pressure on the wire when you crimp it down to so it doesn't slide back out of the pins inside the connector because when you crimp that down those are pushing into the each individual wire individual wire excuse me and I'm going to just do the other side the same exact way for a straight through cable. It's nice and snug.